Hi friends, just wanted to give an update. Um, I am still in the hospital. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, you know that I was admitted on Tuesday. Um, so what's been happening? Um, last month I was here and they diagnosed a malignant pleural effusion. So I have fluid in the sac that surrounds my right lung. Um, they drained that fluid and put a catheter in so I could drain at home. Well, over the last few weeks, um, that drain has not been draining any fluid. So at first we thought, great, but um, then I continued to have some new pains, um, some old pains, some shortness of breath, um, just generally not feeling right. Um, my oncologist thought I should be feeling better with the drain, especially if there's no fluid. So we had a chest x-ray done last week and they um, found um, a moderate to large pleural effusion again, um, which means my drain was clogged up. So um, it would have taken too long to find a radiologist to see me. So they sent me to the ER and they have admitted me. Um, that was Tuesday. It is now Thursday. <laughs> um, so what have we done since? We have hooked me up to the um, suction here in the hospital. So that little bucket right there is the suction for like a chest tube and they've connected the chest tube to my tube. So this is my tube um, connected to the chest tube and then it goes into this, I can get it for you, that machine. Um, so this is the fluid that's come out of me so far. Um, so last night we did that and they put in um, some medication into my drain to dissolve anything that might be clogging it up. Um, and then they let me suction overnight. And so we got about 250 milliliters, which is not enough according to my scans. Um, should be more than that. So it's either clogged up still again, um, or the doctor is concerned that it may not be fluid we're dealing with, but rather cancer progression. Um, so they're going to try to do the procedure one more time and see if we can declog it. They're going to add an additional medication and, um, uh, see if that works. If it works, great. I will get the fluid out. If it doesn't work, then most likely we're not dealing with fluid. Um, so we may talk about taking the catheter out, which I would not be sad about. Um, and then looking at what kind of treatments I need to do next, because if there is that much progression, then um, perhaps the tax all I'm doing isn't working. So um, so that's the plan while I'm here. Um, looks like I'll be here for at least another day or so. Um, so she's gone to get that medication. We'll get it in. I'll have to spin around a little bit to get it moving around and then we'll suction and see what we get um, and then decide what to do next. Um, he said they'll probably do after we try this um, they'll do another scan to see if there's a difference from a couple days ago when I was scanned um, to see if we've gotten enough fluid out or if anything's different or the same. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at here at the hospital. Seems I can't come here without a four or five day stay, um, but I'm okay generally. Um, they give me good meds if I have pain, so that's good. Um, food is good, so there's that. <laughs> Um, meanwhile, I'm just all hooked up and going to the bathroom is quite a ordeal, but, um, I manage and, uh, I'm just sitting here playing on my phone and watching some TV and, um, I'm getting a lot of messages from people. So thank you very much. Um, we've gotten a lot of support and a lot of people concerned and checking in, um, which is really great. Um, my sister, um, wanted to do something. So she actually started me a GoFundMe page. So I will put that link in the description if anybody's interested in checking that out. Um, if you don't have the means, I totally understand. I don't expect a lot, but um, if you wanna share it, that's great. It's helpful too. So um, I just thank everybody for all their support and their help. And um, it's just really been um, great, so. Um, that's it for now. I will check in when I know more. And I hope everybody's having a great week. Um, we'll talk to you again soon.